Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of August 8th to August 14, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's take a look at your oracle messages for the week, Aquarius. First card says, Meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. Okay, so for some of you, there's a need to do a little bit of reflecting okay what else we have the situation will improve the situation will improve yeah so it looks like for some of you there's a need to kind of quiet your mind if if you're currently experiencing a lot of a lot of mental chatter inside of your mind um, it does feel like there's a need to kind of just surrender and be present right in be present in in your current energy so it says the situation will improve i feel like this is a message so that you don't keep worrying about something feel confident that whatever you're going through is going to get better. All right, let's see, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. All right, first card we have for you, Aquarius, is we have here the Chariot. We have Four of Pentacles. We have Three of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Cups, the Strength card in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Hmm. Four of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. The Page of Cups is here, Three of Pentacles and the Hermit in reverse. Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. I want to say also don't settle for less than what you deserve, Aquarius, for some reason. Because for some reason I feel like you're in an energy of wishing for something, desiring something, wanting something. Wanting something big. We have the Ten of Cups, so this is like a big, a big wish. Especially with the Nine of Cups. But it's like you you have a little bit of an inferiority type of energy, especially with the Four of Pentacles. That can mean that you, you're feeling inferior right now in some way, or you feel, you're feeling like you're lacking. Hmm. 
Hmm. How are you seeing whoever you're dealing with? Let me just take a look at that. How is Aquarius seeing or viewing the person that they're dealing with in love? Spirit, thank you so much. How is Aquarius seeing this person? The Eight of Cups. So you're seeing this person as someone who walked away with the Eight of Cups. How else are you seeing this person, Aquarius? How else, how else are they seeing this person, Spirit? Page of Pentacles. Um, okay, what, what else? High Priestess in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting kind of like a take it or leave it type of energy. I don't know if that's what they said to you, Aquarius. For some of you, this person made you some kind of offer and they just said, take it or leave it, you know? And then they walked away and they kind of left it up to you to decide whether you are interested or not. Or they left it up to you to decide whether you're going to pursue them or chase them or not. The emperor in reverse can be kind of like a, a brash, a little bit brash or harsh or like blunt in some way. Hmm. So I do feel like you're in an energy of trying to decide here something. Hmm. But, I mean, if what they offered you was the Page of Pentacles and what you want is the Ten of Cups, that, that doesn't seem to be quite equal there. You might feel disappointed with what this person has um, offered or with what this person has, um, you know, laid out on the table. It might not be exactly what you want or like what you wanted but you might feel like it's better than nothing, which is not a good mentality to have, you know? Let me see if I can get more details about your energy. Tell me about the chariot card, Spirit. Seven of Pentacles and the Devil. Oh, yeah. This is kind of what I was feeling right now. Seven of Pentacles and the Devil. Yeah, some of you are kind of accepting less than what you deserve. I keep getting that. Because you have a very obsessive attachment, right? The devil can represent obsessive attachments to something, to someone. And you might be kind of short-changing yourself. You know, kind of like selling something for $5 when it's really worth $20, you know? If that makes sense. Uh, what's the uh, Four of Pentacles? Ace of Wands and the Empress. So you want things to get moving here with the Ace of Wands and the Empress. You do want things to get moving forward to get... You want to experience a new beginning with someone. You know what? I think this Four of Pentacles is actually good. Um, sometimes that can be a negative card, but I think it's good because I think you're putting the brakes here. I think this is you kind of not letting yourself be, be manipulated by your own feelings and by your own desires, you know? And in some way, I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, you're trying to to look at things from a realistic point of view instead of instead of rose-colored glasses with a with a 10 of cups you do have a lot of intense desires and a lot of intense feelings but you're also in an energy of i need to be realistic it's like you're stopping yourself you're controlling yourself. You're measuring yourself. Yeah, especially with the strength card in reverse. 
Um, yeah, some of you are kind of considering just letting this go because it might seem pretty, like the Ten of Cups, it might seem pretty, but there's a lot attached to it that's not so pretty, if that makes sense. Yeah, like this vision you have, it might seem very pretty, but there's underneath the surface, especially with the devil card, there's a lot of um, toxic energy, I suppose you can say. What's the Queen of Swords doing here, Spirit? Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands. Okay. What's the Three of Swords? Yeah, Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands. This person also might be someone who technically is unavailable in some way. There could be a third party situation um, involved here. And it does look like the, the external environment is not ideal for the growth of this relationship. And I feel like that's something that you are assessing and taking into consideration, you know? What's the Three of Pentacles spirit? Temperance and the Four of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely hard for you though. It's hard because you do have the best intentions, you know, in wanting something serious or stable, or happy, balanced with, with this person. Um, a happy relationship, a balanced relationship with the Temperance card. So it's like you, you have the best intentions here. But I feel like you also just don't trust this person. You might feel like you've already experienced some red flags with them. You might, yeah, you might ex feel like you experienced some red flags with them. And with the Emperor in reverse and the Page of Pentacles, you might not trust the offer that they've made to you or whatever energy they've extended out to you. Um, you just, you might feel like there's more to it and you might be right, you know. All right, so let's take a look at your person and see uh, what's going on. Okay, hopefully that made sense. All right, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. First card for your person here, Aquarius, is the Eight of Wands in reverse, the World card, the Star, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Swords. At the bottom, the Nine of Swords. Oh, okay, interesting. Ten of Swords and the, and the Five of Swords. This person was kind of testing you. Uh, they were they were playing a little bit of a game here with you to see your reaction. Hmm. 
Okay. Could be dealing with an air sign here, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Strength in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So Aquarius, I kind of feel like this is someone who was testing you out in some way. This is someone who wanted to... who wanted to get some kind of reaction out of you. They were... They were trying to manipulate some kind of reaction out of you. It's almost like someone who threw through the bait, hoping that you'll hoping that you would catch it. I don't think you did though, because you had the four of pentacles, so I don't think you took the bait. I think you're a lot more like wiser or intuitive or more intelligent than this person gives you credit for you know I feel like this person might underestimate you a little bit you're not as easily easily influenced or as gullible as this person might think you are or or want you to be because I kind of feel like this is someone who wants to control things here in in their relationship with you it's like they want to be on they want to be in the driver's seat And they want to kind of mold this relationship to to what's to what's satisfactory to them. I feel like they have pretty strict demands or conditions, you know. And I feel like this person might have ended things with you or like, I don't know, um, separated from you or, you know, kind of closed the door on you. They stopped talking to you or reaching out or whatever it is. They, they stopped doing that. But I feel like they were trying to, or they were hoping that you would miss them. Yeah, with the star card, it's like this person kind of, or they walked away from you, but it, it was with the intention of hoping that you would miss them and that you would feel um, more, more connected to them. That your feelings would get stronger for them and that you would come chasing after them. Yeah, eight of wands in reverse, like they might have stopped communicating or contacting you, but it was it's it was all kind of premeditated <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands. It was kind of a premeditated plan. Because they want to make it seem like you're the one who who needs them. This is someone who wants to be with you for sure, Aquarius, but I feel like they're just going about things the wrong way with the Seven of Swords. I feel like there's a little bit of deception here with this person um, or lies with this person, manipulation. I feel like they're just kind of playing tricks or playing games instead of just being upfront with you. I feel like they're scared to be emotionally open and honest with you. And they're kind of resorting resorting to other tactics and other strategies to basically get your attention. Because they, they don't actually want things to be over with you, even if they were the ones to end things or walk away or disconnect, disconnect from you. It's not really, it's not true. This is someone who's hoping that that a relationship will manifest between you two in, in the future. 
and they're just kind of waiting for you, waiting for you to, to come knocking on their door, you know, basically. But I feel like this is someone who wants you to kind of comply with them. Com comply with their expectations or with their needs, you know. And it kind of feels a little one-sided here. Um, okay, hopefully that made sense, Aquarius. Um, that's the energy. So I'm going to continue with the extended reading. And I'm going to take a deeper look at what are this person's real and true feelings for you? What are their real and true intentions with you? And also what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.